Two average-sized American women. <laughs> and a giant from another country. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home, beginning here. Brenda. Brenda and? Ashley. Ashley, Brenda and Ashley. Where are you from, Brenda and Ashley? Maryland. Both of you? Yes. What a coincidence. Do you know each other? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you always answer at the same time? <laughs> no. Uh, how, how do you know each other? She's my mother. <gasps> how adorable. <laughs> now, let me ask you, Brenda and Ashley, if that's your real name. <laughs> Why are you both wearing purple? <laughs> it was a coincidence. <laughs> I just flew in today and she... You just arrived today? Mm -hmm. Are uh, you live here? Mm -hmm. Where do you live? I live in Echo Park, LA. Oh, don't tell us the exact address. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel very tall. <laughs> Most people do. Yeah, yeah, I am quite tall. Yeah. <laughs> Not as tall as I feel right now, though. You know that, do you know that purple is a very ecclesiastical color? Are you both involved in the church in some way? Yes. Yeah. Are you? Really? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Um, I work in ministry. Really? Yeah. Uh, do you do that too? No, I just attend church. <laughs> <laughs> but you work in the ministry. Mm -hmm. You must be very proud. Very proud. Uh, in the church, you're probably a big shot amongst the other heathens <laughs> that don't have children that are in the ministry. <laughs> what does your child do? He's a doctor. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, so, uh, will you become a, an ordained uh, minister? Um, I'll be getting a degree and a pastoral degree. A pastoral degree? For counseling. So you'll be able to help people like me? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, I, I, feel, I feel humbled. <laughs> Will you get to wear robes? No. I'd change my church if I <laughs> If I was going to get involved in a, you know, being a, a, in the, you know, in some kind of minister, I'd want robes and lots of them, big robes. And do you have any stuff to move around? Any of that? No. You know, what about the, the sage? Do you have any burning sage? No. Well, what about snake handling? Did you do any snake handling? <laughs> Are you sure this is a church? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well, I better not cuss for the rest of the day. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. doing finger pistols, it's so exciting. It's like a new thing. <laughs> this will make up for not getting into the prices, right? Yeah. We get to do finger pistols, G. You get to do finger pistols at the prices, right? No, you don't. <laughs> but here you can do finger pistols all day. <laughs> and walk away empty-handed. <laughs> A little sad feeling in your tummy thinking, that poor man, he does that every night. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. It is. 
It's a great day uh, for Mitt Romney. He now has enough delegates to officially clinch the Republican nomination. Romney issued a statement today. He said, and I quote, Damn! <laughs> Damn, suck on that, Newt Gingrich, you bitch! That's how he talks. That is how he talks. Have you ever listened to him? Neither have I, but that's how he talks. <laughs> Damn! Mm -mm -mm. Of course, it's a big night for the hockey fans. Game one of the Stanley Cup finals. The LA Kings are in the finals only the second time in their history. What was on ESPN today? The National Spelling Bee. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I, don't, I can't take a position on the, uh, on the, the hockey because I've got to be impartial. I'm, I'm, you know, but, uh, but I go Kings, is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, I watched the uh, Spelling Bee. <laughs> so I, I was so glad I paid for cable. I'm like, woohoo! Spelling! Spelling! Are you ready for some spelling? Spelling! Yeah! They say the National Spelling Bee is open to anyone who has not yet finished the eighth grade. I was like, hey, I could, I, I could go. I, I qualify. For a while, some schools across the country were banning spelling bees for obvious reasons, of course. Steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Some people uh, take the spelling bee very seriously, though. These people are called parents of children in the spelling bee. <laughs> you know, trying to make up for their own childhood of crushed dreams and misspelled words. <laughs> hey, parents, it's a spelling bee. It's not something important like a beauty pageant, because that I'd understand. <laughs> Although I admit I'm still angry at my parents for putting me in Little Miss Scotland when I was uh, six years old. I was. <laughs> I came second. The winner was a young Susan Boyle. <laughs> I guess Susan Boyle's fantastic. Do we have a picture of Susan Boyle? There she is. I, uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> we didn't... <laughs> Man, I've pissed off a lot of people. We've hardly started. We didn't have the spelling bee when I was a kid. We had the punching bee. You know, how do you spell cat? <laughs> Shut up! Stop asking questions! Punch! <laughs> One thing I've noticed about the spelling bee, though, everyone in the audience is very, very quiet. And I know what that's like. <laughs> Conforming in front of a silent crowd. <laughs> you know what, though? I don't think spelling is a skill that anyone really needs these days. Computers have got spell check. So I'd just like to tell all you young people, stop learning how to spell. Where's your job? <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> What you should be doing is learning how to shorten words to just three letters. You know, it makes it much easier to text while you're driving. <laughs> OMG, LOL, TMI, PMF. I don't know what that last one is, PMF. Actually, I don't know what any of them are. I'm old. So what does PMF stand for, do you know? Uh, please my ferret. <laughs> please my ferret. Please, my ferret could be a new catchphrase, like our other catchphrases. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do I do our catchphrases? Yeah, yeah, like All right, that. then. That sounded dirty. <laughs> my catchphrase? There goes my penis. That's it. <laughs> you know who needs help with the spelling? It's Mitt Romney. Because his campaign put out a smartphone app today. This is true. We, I didn't make this up. And on the day of the National Spelling Bee, they put out an app. And, and it, look, look, here it is. Look. A better... <laughs> Some of the audience are unsure where the spelling mistake is. <laughs> Look, I think it looks fine. What the hell? A better Americia? <laughs> Romney supporters say anyone who points out there's a mistake is un -Americean. <laughs> Poor guy, he, probably, he can't afford spell check. Romney, that's a problem. I think the Romney campaign, though, can spell America any way they want to because the Obama campaign spells Kenya H-A-W-A-I-I. -I, right there. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I... <laughs> One of the contestants in this year's Spelling Bee was only six years old. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. <laughs> you started talking before your mouth started moving there. <laughs> it, was like watching, it was like watching an old kung fu movie. You were like, that's incredible. <laughs> Do that again. Please, my ferret. Oh! <laughs> Anyway, one of the contestants in the spelling bee was only six, and it was when the judges asked her how she learned to spell so young, she said, baby steps. <laughs>
It was like I was at the spill and be there with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they say this kid's a child prodigy. She's a genius. And I'm like, can she drive? No, I can. Aha! <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> hey, uh, did yeah. you watch The Spelling Bee? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, oh, yeah. No, you didn't. You watched the hockey. You watched the hockey, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a Kings fan, aren't you? Love the King. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever play ice hockey when you had a flesh? <laughs> sure, yeah, I was, uh, I was a big hockey player. You were a big hockey player. Yeah, I enjoyed hitting those pucks. <laughs> that sounded dirty. There goes my penis. You want to do the thing? Sure, why not? All right. Will BRB with TLLS and BFF CF and GP after this CRAP. <laughs> Tonight, there'll be absolutely no cussing because we've got some church people in. But I have to tell you, I'm very impressed by the quality of Lesbian Row this evening. Have you checked in with Lesbian Row this evening? <laughs> Lesbians, you'll be able to get counselling from the ladies sitting across the aisle from you. Should you need any? Should you need any? You might not need any, but if you... I don't know why I'm shouting so loud. I always get nervous when there's someone from the church around. <laughs> it's true. When I was a kid, we would say that I'm Church of Scotland, which is kind of like a Presbyterian, but bleaker. And what we... Uh, we used to wait sometimes. The minister would come to the house and we would wait, and it would be like the minister was kind of like... You ever see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Remember the, the character of the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Kind of like... <laughs> But he was always nice, and we learned about things. Right, Jeff? That's a touching story. Thanks, man. <laughs> Are you a church-going man yourself, Jeff? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What's yeah. The, what, uh, what denomination do you... Uh... Uh, it's uh, uh, Bonology. <laughs> bonology? Yeah, the Church uh, of Bonology. Yeah, Bonology. Right. It's, uh, it's uh, one of them uh, uh, exclusive, small, uh, more your boutique church. The kind of a boutique church, that's yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So you're pretty much the only guy that goes. Yeah, I founded the church. Yeah. <laughs> so you founded the church of Bonology, and you're the only guy that goes. I, I don't know that that's technically a church. That might just be some kind of paranoid delusion. I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know what you're saying. What are you talking about? I'm not paranoid. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what time is it, uh, Dr. Bonehead? Well, I'll tell you. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who got this job by losing a bet. <laughs> the hell? Well, that's what you, you told me that before the show. Uh, well, you didn't mean for you to tell everyone, no? Well, I just thought I'd work it in, you know, kind of slide it in. in. Don't work in my personal life into the show. I don't want you telling people about my third nipple or my weird genitals. <laughs> Craig, Craig, please, there, there, there are church people. Oh, there's church people. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> my third thing or my weird happy things? That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you want to do our own jingle? Yeah, or let's you make play up our jingle? own jingle. Yeah, All right, do our own jingle. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. It's... Oh, let's do it in the style of a hymn. Oh, I like that. All right. <laughs> and now it's time for tweets and emails. And now it's time for tweets and oh. Oh. All right, well, that was pretty good. Uh, please, no clapping in church. Uh, this is from Brian in Naperville in Illinois. You ever been to Naperville, oh, Illinois? Oh, you know I have. No, I don't. What? Why would I know that? No, I, I told you that, that I'm not going to talk oh, about that. Thing, that thing, that thing, yeah. It's personal, I can't talk about it. Yeah, you can't talk about that, not in front of the church ladies. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, Brian uh, in uh, Naperville, Illinois said, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, who's out at the door? Dear Craig Jefferson Secretary, my girlfriend, my girlfriend likes to play board games, but she always beats me. How can I tell her that I don't want to play with her anymore? You can say, I don't really want to play anymore. 
hell? This is from John in Yardley in uh, America, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm an avid bowler, but all my friends tell me it's not a sport. What do you think? Well, it's not spelling. <laughs> Uh, this is from uh, Jeff in Cambridge in Canada. You ever been to Canada? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. I tell you who's, who's on the show tonight, Howie Mandel. He is, in fact, Canadian. Yeah, hey, save it. <laughs> He's Canadian. Oh, really? Yeah. So don't mention um, bacon. <laughs> okay, m mum's the word. Mum's the word. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I want to stay single. Is this a good thing? <laughs> Dude, how can I answer that? You know my wife Tivo's this crap. <laughs> no, find yourself a girl. Settle down. <laughs> uh, this is... What about you, Jeff? You, you, uh... Hey, man, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, Melinda in Massapequa in uh, New York. Hi, Craig and Jeff. We are going to see you perform at the Radio City Music Hall in October. Is there anything we should know? <laughs> It's your money. Uh, <laughs> and finally, this is from Evan in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, have you ever been in a food fight? Have we? <gasps> well, that one time in that place that we can oh, talk yeah, about. we can't talk about that. No. <laughs> Was that somebody laughing or, or someone trying to get out? <laughs> They're like, hey! All right, uh, we're going to let this person out. We'll be right back, everybody. Harry Mandel, we'll be right back. My first guest tonight is going, uh, America's Got Talent. He judges uh, the kind of talent Americans have, even although he's not one. <laughs> the show's on. The show's on. Well, I think he is, actually. He's an American citizen, which is, you know, well, hey, that means I can judge other Americans. I'm an American citizen. I'm judging you right now. <laughs> America's Got Talent is on Mondays and Tuesdays on uh, NBC. Take a look at this. Thanks. You guys know he's Canadian, right? Yeah. Look at that. You'll embarrass him. Thanks. What's going on, man? Sit down. Nah, I've been sitting all day. <laughs> sit down. We no, had it cleaned. We no, had it cleaned. No, it's not the dirt. I just, I've been, why do you have to sit? I've been sitting all day. You go to a party, you talk to people, you don't sit. I don't I always, sit. I always want to have a seat. Well, okay, I'm going to pretend that I'm uh, a very small person that you met at a party. <laughs> I don't want to sit. All right, I just, I well, just, I mean, Mandel, you're good. taller than I thought you'd be. No, I'm not. <laughs> on TV. You look a regular not, size, but you're a monster. Are they all this big in Canada? No, no I'm just, you know, this is in the way, too. No, no. No, don't get, move this. I don't don't, wanna, don't touch it with your I hands. I'm not, no, it's not that. I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want to sit. Is it bad that I stand? I just. No. It's not right, terrible. Stand you too, you yeah, stand, too. Yeah, yeah, right. So how you been? <laughs> all right. It's good. Things have been good for me. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. I actually, I don't know if you saw that episode where the guy had the, the puppet. Yeah. He had the, but he had that thing on his shoulder. It didn't do anything. He had built, there was a tube. It's a, it's a misdirect. A... It's a misdirect. Was that magic? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a misdirect. He puts the puppet on his shoulder and then you forget he's standing up. Really? <laughs> 
and I was also listening to your. I want another thing. I want to talk about. There's mm -hmm. no segue here. The spelling bee. I find it fascinating now that they have a six-year-old and kids aren't learning to spell because they're all doing the. You know what the kids are doing spell today? Check, spell the, the spell check. So yeah. I assume I was watching it because I was. I wanted like the the word is asterisk. Spell asterisk, and there'd be some kid up there going, A S. Ay caramba. Like it would just. You know how it. It finishes. He it can, fin that's a Canadian word, dude. Why, why, it's I a guess. Canadian word. Old church people. Oh, yeah, you oh. swore in front of the church people. I'm a Jew. <laughs> Look at that. There's people. There's yeah, people that's, like you're, I'm a I Jew. I don't know that that's going to help. You're from the <laughs> church, and he's a boner. Isn't that what he said he was? What no, did you, I, he said he was a boner. Bo what did, church of Bonology. Church of Bonology. Yeah. And each individual person is a bone. Er. <laughs> I really hate standing up, Howie. You really, really? Me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not asking you to do it. All right, then. Thanks. <laughs> no, I, I, I really... You want me to sit down? Well, I will. only I'll if you down. want to. I don't want to, but you're forcing it. I am. And it's your show. Your show. Oh, this is so much better. See? You know what? I've been sitting in planes. I've been flying back and forth now because of Howard Stern. You know, we're in New York, so I have to go to New York, and, and I sit well, You have Howard. to make the show in New York because Howard's doing the Howard show? Howard lives in New York, and he's got a radio show, and I just... That's what I do. I sit for five hours, and it's not fun for me. Sitting is not fun for me. And sitting... My wife comes with me, and she's not a good flyer, and that's not fun for me. You know what? <laughs> No, you want to, this is a true story. This is not a joke. Okay. She is really deathly afraid of flying. I she used was, to be. Uh, uh, and what did you do? I learned uh, how to fly. I got my pilot's license. So, that's <laughs> terrible. That, so now you know how to do it, but you're still terrified. Oh. Ah! <laughs> that's, that's actually part of the test. Really? What do you do in an emergency? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Aren't you worried about the airplane? The airplanes are very dirty, Howie. They're, I they're very, I mean, even, I'm not, I'm not like you with the dirt, but I, when I go on the airplane, I'm like. You wear a mask, really, yes. for sure? I, well, sometimes. Really? If, I, if somebody's coughing, or I'll put on a mask. I have, I right. carry masks with me. Right. Yes, it's a very tough life for me. But I have to do it. I, you know, I do. I face my fears every you, day. You probably I, have you have money. You could get a private airplane. I have money. I still have the money you gave me. I, last time I was on the show, yeah. you, I won the... Uh, the $50? I won the $50. All and right. I, I cash touched it. It's like brand new. It was crisp. I like new money. Oh, no, we give it out in quarters now. You were here. Touch it. I won't touch that. <laughs> Why? Because I don't touch change. I won't touch change. Wa money, paper money, I can wash. Right. Like if my, like the night That's money laundering. You can go to jail for that. <laughs> Are you a citizen now? Yes. All right. I that's... did the same thing as you. All I, right. Yeah. yeah they they sang the... that Lee Greenwood song. We went yeah, down yeah. to the... Well, I'm proud to be an American. Yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Were you the only one speaking? Uh, everybody was crying, but I was the only one speaking English in the whole... Were you the... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody was proud. I go, isn't this great? They go, que? 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 <laughs> We're Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Americans. It was a very moving ceremony, though. I, I loved it. No, we stayed in one place. Oh, uh, you see? You see, I see, see what, you, what did. you did. I see what you did. Thank you. I'll be you here. You took the word, and then you moved into a different area. What did I move? The word. The word. The, but anyway, the I meaning came, of the word. But the I, meaning of the word. But you keep your British or your Scottish citizenship? Well, it's there. <laughs> But you do, right? Yeah, like but when you, you become an American, you have to say, well, you know, look, if, if Scotland and America ever go at war, I'm in big trouble. That's all I'm saying. Really? You'd be fighting with yourself. Now you know what it's like to be a mental case like me. Yeah. I have so many voices. Yeah, I don't think you're a mental case. I think you just, you got, a, you got an issue with something. I have issue, and I have medication, and I'm all fine and happy. Do you, do you, do you take medication? I take a lot of medication. Do I'm you? medicated as we speak. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why is I'm, that funny? <laughs> Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh, poor Harry. Is a... Normally that would bother me, but I'm medicated. Yeah, <laughs> that's working. Now, uh, to enjoy the type of medicated products that Harry enjoys, take a look at these commercials. We'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. I'm here with Howie Mandel. Hey, listen, you're Canadian. Do you, do you follow the hockey? Me? Time flies when you're sitting through the commercials oh, yeah, like that. Go it was really, yeah. <laughs> that was really... But, that, uh, I it, didn't... It's I, because you're medicated. That actually was a long period of time. That was a, a full four minutes or something of commercials. No, but, it's yeah. got to be. You didn't... Yeah. You went to a commercial at home. We didn't. Oh, you yeah. just stopped and went For, back No, on. no, no. That this, was a long time. This show's live. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that true? Are you freaking me? Because the oh, truth is, look, that I, I will, relax. All right, I'm, it's I'm fine. I'm a hypochondriac. I thought we went to commercial and then bang, we were talking again. And yeah, it's like if you ever... you don't remember that time when you got up and you danced around during the commercial break, no. the audience was all clapping and you were dancing around and your pants off. You don't even remember that. <laughs> so you saw, I am a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are you pointing at? Cash prize? Cash. Uh, mouth organ? No. That's, that's never gonna never, happen. Never gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awkward pause? No oh. contact there with awkward pause. Although you might have one of those time lapse things you had during the. the I'll try for the money because it's. Well, in you're a not bag. gonna touch it. It's in a bag. No, but it's in a bag. But I can take that bag and trade it for clean. I give it to my wife. She, they, she can use the quarters in the laundry mat to wash my other money. You don't have a. You don't have a washing machine. You've got to be a millionaire. You don't have a washing. I know. The laundromat. I do, but not in that last piece that I did. Fair enough. <laughs> you want to go over there? No, if you want me to, or not. I know. I'll. Do. Yeah. Awkward. You want an awkward pause? Can I awkwardly pause and then decide on the money? <laughs> it's, the whole evening seems very. I thought awkward you were pausing. I thought you were pausing. Oh. If this is the pause, then you shouldn't be talking. We well, you st you started talking. I'm answering you. You are a guest at my show. I'm trying to be polite. This is the noisiest pause I've ever been part of. <laughs> Maybe that's a new thing. Noisy pause. Not an awkward pause, noisy pause. That's like a mime who won't shut the hell up. Oh, or, or, a, or a very loud dog. I don't get that one. Noisy pause. <laughs> Here comes the dog. I got it. I love it. Hey, hey, and that was clean, too. Oh, the church people. All right. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the Big Cash Prize. Big cash prize, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only right. Jeff knows what's in the box. If okay. you guess correctly, Jeff will tell us. If you guess incorrectly, I touch you, sneeze on you, and lick you. <laughs> or you can just answer a question. I'll answer. All right, yeah. All right, that was an awkward pause. Yeah, it was. I, I kind of freaked you out, but I would never do that to no, you. No, I, I know, I, mean, I know I, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its uh, capital city is Reykjavik. Correct. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now's your chance to win. Okay. Before it became popular as a toy, what was Play-Doh used for? Was it B, a cleaning product? <laughs> you know, can I just tell you, Play-Doh, I always get Play-Doh and Silly Putty mixed up. And when I was a child, we didn't have money. You remember Silly Putty? Yeah. yeah, have, yeah. Did you have it as a kid well, in, in we Scotland? Just, we you know used what it was? Potatoes. Well, I used. <laughs> we used, and you could put it on the comic strips. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have Play-Doh. I used to went on hot, sweaty nights. I used to just press my testicles on the comic strips. <laughs> and that's well, where your jam thing comes from. It's a sexual shame thing. And the, if this, if there weren't church people here, I would show you Beetle Bailey right now. No. Yeah, no, okay. Okay. All right, what so uh, be? before it became uh, popular as a toy, what was Play-Doh used for? Was it B, a cleaning product? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all the choices? Um, I'll go with B. Is the right answer! Right. Is a Tony Award winning actress. Ooh. Oh, now you don't ooh. <laughs> She's in a new TV series, Bunheads, which premieres June the 11th on ABC Family. Take a look at this. Please welcome the lovely Sutton Foster, everybody. Sutton Foster. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on the show. It's thank a delight you. to finally meet you. Well, thank you. It's a delight to finally meet you as well. Oh, well, really? Thank yeah, you for seeing yeah, yeah. well. Very high voices. Yeah, so high voices. <laughs> That's lovely. Do you do a lot of the talk shows? This is my first time. No way. Yeah. Oh, so. I remember my first time. You do? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was with Leno. Leno oh. was my first, yeah. Well, he that's was, nice. He was rough. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
nice. Yeah. Well, you seem very nice. Oh, I seem nice, but actually I'm foul. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, I'm better. fine. This show looks very nice. There's a lot of uh, wearing costumes like that. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Do you... Uh, it's just Do a I plot point. <laughs> uh, it's ABC Family. It is ABC Family. Uh, you keep Family. your top on then. Yeah, 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 I do, I do. But we flash a little, you know. Do, do you really? No, no, I mean, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Just, just a little skin, you know. Right. I, keep, I, you it, know keep it family oriented. It looks kind of Moulin Rouge y. Oh, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. Have you ever been there? You've been to the Moulin Rouge? I have not. I've been I to have. Paris. You have? Yeah, I danced with the Moulin You'd Rouge. You did? I did, yeah. <laughs> when we went to, the, with, to Paris with the show, I danced with the Moulin Rouge. Do you have any of the things? Show the thing. Yeah, no, no. You didn't have to wear the little feathers, though. I didn't have to, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> have you been to Paris? I have been to Paris. Oh, did you have a nice time? I did. I loved it. It, cool. it was different than I expected. For some reason, I thought everyone was going to be walking around, like, smoking cigarettes, and it was going to be very chill and romantic. No, and... That, that's a nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But it was, it, was, it was very much like New York. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, the, a lot of older buildings. Yes, uh, and the pee pee smells more garlicky. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But much the same in many ways. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You you live in New York? I do primarily. Well, your your uh, Broadway is kind of where you you kind of do your thing. Isn't yeah, it? Really? yeah, yeah. That's where I, that's where I do it's my. That's where thing. you win your Tony. That's where you win yeah. the Tony. Yeah. That must be very exciting. It was definitely a a dream come true. Yeah. Well, where yeah. are you from originally? Originally from Georgia and Michigan. You're from two different places? I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I was born in Georgia, and then um, I spent sort of my high school years in Michigan. And yeah. then I've, I've been living in New York for 15 years. Did you go to New York to get on Broadway, and then you got on Broadway? Yeah. Wow. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah. It's a really cool. Yes. I feel really And now lucky. you're on ABC Family. But I you'll know. get back on Broadway. You'll get I, back on Broadway. I hope so. Yeah, I hope they'll still right. have me, right? Yeah. What did you do on Broadway? Singing? Singing and dancing. Oh, and I love acting. all that. Oh, singing, dancing, and acting. I know all three. What did you win the Tony for? I won two Tonys. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. What did you win them for? I won. <laughs> I won them for. Uh, there was a show called uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Yeah, I love that show. You do? Yeah, well, I didn't see the show, but I saw the movie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, it was, it, and then I, and for Anything Goes, there was a revival of Anything Goes. Wow. Last Good year. For, that's two kind of classy productions right yeah. there. See, I don't go to a lot of Broadway because I'm here in L.A. We don't have any shows Do you go here. to New York? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I used to live in New York really? a long time ago. I love New York City, but I can't get away from it. I've got to be here in the basement with a skeleton doing the crappy show. Oh, that's what yeah. I got to do. Sorry. Jeff always dreamt of a uh, career on Broadway. Really? Mm. Yeah, I always just dreamt of a career. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We'd have you on Broadway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Actually, you'd fit in. He totally would. Fit yeah, in. he totally would fit in. Yeah. Where'd Where you live hell? in New York? <laughs> I lived in the East Village. Really? Yeah, yeah. I lived down. You know, Veneros Bakery on First Avenue. Oh, Stop? absolutely. Right. I used to live above that. Hey. Yeah. Have, Where do you live in New York? Uh, Midtown Manhattan. Wow. That well, it's handy for Broadway, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But do you fancy something a little more? Exciting. Yeah, a little. Yeah. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it is very handy to to theater world, and right. if uh, I I would maybe a new neighborhood. Do you do you miss uh, going out to Michigan? Do you ever go back out there or, or to or? Michigan? Yeah. Not so much anymore. My parents moved down to Florida now. Florida's nice. That's Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. Are your parents astronauts? No. Oh. <laughs> Although I wanted to be an astronaut when I was. So in... did I. You did. I did. Did you ever want to go to space camp? I really wanted to go you to space camp. Did space camp in school. Scotland? Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to go to space camp and and then and after the Challenger exploded, right. I wanted to be an astronaut because I thought people might be afraid and I said I would be brave. <laughs> wait, wait, do not applaud <laughs> that because she didn't become an astronaut. No, I didn't. I decided to go be on Broadway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That requires bravery, I'll yeah, tell you. It does. Some of those costumes then if you want to get paid for. <laughs> No, no, that's, uh, this singing and dancing on Broadway. Be I, space, though. You space, should, you should I to love sp space. Yeah, but you're very tall. <laughs> there, there are no tall astronauts? No. Why? Well, during the Saturn V program, you had to be under four foot really? seven. Really? Yeah, yeah. Under four foot seven? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, uh, you had to be the, the, see, they originally built the, the, uh, <laughs> No, That's they were... a very small person. Right, yeah. They, they originally built the, uh, the uh, you know, the rocket ships for, for monkeys. Yes, right, Right, of right. Course. So they so just used the same ones, and they said, well, we need to get astronauts the same size as a monkey. 
<laughs> so you had to get a chimpanzee uh, sized human to be an astronaut. <laughs> By the way, it's chimpanzee, right? Yes, right, as opposed to what? Chimpanzee. <laughs> Say that, that well, sounds tell exactly you. the same. Say that again. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. <laughs> the first one better right and the first Chim one's Chim correct but Chimpanzee. I have a I have a baby son right and he's playing this or I'm playing this your baby can read uh, see DVDs yeah and one of the things it shows a chimpanzee and the voice goes chimpanzee and I'm like no, Hell? that's not right yeah it's not and now my kid thinks it's a chimpanzee no his life is ruined totally yeah. chimpanzee Chim chimpanzee not chimpanzee <laughs> have you got any pets no. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aha! I'm sorry. I do. I have a little dog named Linus. Linus? Yeah, he's a little shih tzu. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can, yeah no, you can, she can say that. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at the church people and I felt bad. Like, suddenly I wasn't allowed to see no, the church people. The church people were fine with it. They know a shih tzu from something rude. <laughs> I don't know if the CBS sets are well, though. Oh, they do. Fine. <laughs> what's, what with, what's with the, um... Snake girl? Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't I like have, it? like, a huge phobia of snakes, actually. Jeez, everybody that comes out I, has because got something. It's, right. I'm not it. I like you. You are lovely. Thank you, are you very, very much. You are very you. Nice I like man. you, too. I think you're a lovely woman. Thank you. I'd but like you to why, come back often. Thank you. I would love that. But why do you have that? <laughs> why is it? Do, is it a present? Yes, my friend Mary McCormack, who's an actress, gave this to oh, me. Oh! I like her a lot. Well, the... <laughs> Well, Mary gave me this as a present, and I and I use it on the show because you got to be, you know, you got to drink when you have a talk show, and this is made of real snake. No, it's not. That's not a real snake, snake. Oh, really? Oh, uh, I do respect. Stop it! <laughs> I do. Res <laughs> I do respect the rattlesnake because they let you know that they're there. I think rattlesnake is the fairest of all snakes. The fairest? Yes. Totally. Yeah. They're like, Other hey, snakes, I'm yeah. over here. They're Don't like, mess hey, with hey, me. Hey, 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 so hey. I'm like, okay, I got yeah. you, buddy. I'm gonna not come over there, because I don't like the I don't like the snakes that like, ah, yeah, yeah, come yeah. at you. Yeah. Like the ones those that leap at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leaping That's snakes. That's terrible. Yeah. Or anyway, like a, look, we're out of time. Oh, then yeah. thank God. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's leaping snakes around. So. <laughs> What do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause. Uh, do you want to guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking? That's a new one I'm ready to try out. And, <laughs> or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Um, I'll go for the awkward pause, please. Now, you know what's interesting? You know when I come out at the start of the show and I throw these uh, chocolate dollars into the audience? Yeah, yeah. Right? And sometimes they land in odd places. I just noticed one landed right in your cup. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's, it's no good as a, as a chocolate dollar now because I've fingered it. Well, I always enjoy when you finger my chocolate dollar. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night.